The Bose QC35 is essentially a wireless version of the QC25 which I personally found to be one of the best portable headphones due to its noise isolating abilities and very competent sound quality. Can Bose take this experience further? We'll see. The packaging box is very clean and straightforward showing the QC35 on the front, Bose logos on the sides, and details of the features such as Bluetooth and active noise cancellation on the back in various languages. The packaging opens by sliding out the contents in which inside is the manuals, warranty registration, and the carrying case. Within the carrying case you'll find the micro USB charging cable to replenish the built-in battery that can last up to 20 hours on Bluetooth or 40 hours on a wired connection. Also you have the 3.5mm to 2.5mm cable to provide that wired connection if you do not wish to use Bluetooth or the battery dies altogether. The QC35 is folded up neatly in the main compartment as well as an airplane adapter for receiving audio. The QC35 and the silver finish that you see in front of you, I personally believe is a very handsome and professional looking headphone that will look good on just about anyone and with any style. The ear cuffs pivot and rotate very freely, allowing for a very snug and comfortable fit. Headband adjustment has individual clicks to ensure precise extension along with a generous amount of leeway for larger heads. The padding on the ear cups are of synthetic memory foam based leather which feels very soft to the touch around the ears. The speakers are angled to improve comfort as well as creating a more natural acoustic delivery to the ears, improving soundstage perception. The inner part of the headband is made of Alcantara which is a very luxurious form of suede found in sports cars. This is coupled with the same synthetic leather from the ear cups on the outer headband portion. Like with recent trends with wireless headphones, the footprint of the QC35 is pretty much identical to the QC25 despite housing more circuitry inside. Construction is comprised of a specialized plastic that is glass filled resin with metals in common stress areas. Flicking the power switch to the middle turns on the QC35 in which it will auto connect to two previously paired devices. Holding the switch to the far right for 2 seconds puts it in pairing mode in which it is ready to pair with nearby devices. On the right ear cup is the volume up, play pause, skip tracks, answering and hanging up phone calls, and volume down button. Also there is a micro USB charging port and NFC ready pairing chip. Also over to the left ear cup is a 2.5mm port. The QC35 has a built-in female voice prompts for various different purposes. Here's an example of the power and on process and pairing with the last two known devices. In the video here, this will be my MacBook and iPhone. Battery 90% connected to Daniel's MacBook and Daniel's iPhone. It's usually always the smartest decision to wait and make sure you've developed something that you can proudly say is your best effort. I think that is something that Bose has genuinely done with the QC35. This is most likely the best all around portable headphone on the market today for the mass public looking in the premium category. No, it's not the best sounding, nor is it the best looking, or is it the best constructed headphone. However, in those three categories that I've just listed, the QC35 score is very high in all of those regards, which essentially makes this a very safe recommendation. Now first and foremost is the active noise cancelling capability of the QC35, which I believe is just a tiny bit improved over the QC25, and this is primarily in the area of the hiss and the signal to noise ratio. Now, that airy silence is even more prevalent because the hiss produced by the electronic circuitry which is responsible for the active noise cancelling is pretty much near or possibly undetectable. This is literally by far the best active noise cancelling you can get from a headphone on the market today. This coupled with a very balanced sound signature and a surprisingly open and well crafted sound stage 
results in quite possibly the best sound experience you can get when outside in a moderately to high noisy environment. And this is all without having to stick an IEM into your ears which some people might find uncomfortable. Now IEMs can deliver an even better sound quality with the same level of noise isolation or even better but like I said previously it can become uncomfortable for some users. The treble and bass of the QC35 adjust depending on the volume. At lower volume, an EQ forms that boosts the treble and the bass to compensate for the human ears and the Fletcher Munson curve. At higher volumes, the bass and treble becomes more balanced with the mid-range, and primarily this is what I listen to at because I listen primarily more towards the higher volumes. Now, when I dissect more into the sound of the QC35 and begin with the bass, I believe it's relatively even tone. It extends pretty well. Doesn't really sound too much boosted over the uh, mid range. It sounds relatively linear with the mid range. However, in terms of its composure, it does sound a bit loose and muddy when the bass becomes complex. Um, it's not a big deal, but if you're a experienced listener you can pretty much detect the bass becoming slightly you know a little bit diffuse and a little bit muddy now moving over to the mid-range it's very nicely presented and i pretty much really enjoy this presentation here it's very clean clear and open the vocals and instruments sound very convincing and the sense of depth is heightened not only by the sound signature but most importantly by the angled speakers creating that acoustical effect that the sound is coming towards you. The treble is also very clear and open, but with a tad bit of green that really only comes out when the music becomes complex, similar to the bass presentation. Overall, the sound is simply quite great. I, I really, I mean, I can find faults in it, but I simply, I, I enjoy the sound. And this is over the Bluetooth connection. Over wired, the sound does gain some focus, it gains some composure, the bass becomes a bit more tight, and the treble does clean itself up a bit. Now, when you factor in this great sound quality, along with the stunning active noise canceling ability and the amazing comfort, along with a design that's relatively neutral and inoffensive and can be worn by anyone with any style, the QC35 is honestly hard to fault and has easily earned my recommendation for those looking for the best all-around Bluetooth headphone. Now this has been a review of the Bose QC35. If there's anything that was left out and you want me to answer, just feel free to post in the comments below. I try to get back to them and answer them to the best of my abilities. Thanks for watching this video review. Later.